Good afternoon, everyone. This is Susie with Millers on the Move. Today I am in San Bernardino, California, and before us is the grave of one of the greatest guitarists of all time. This is the grave of legendary guitarist Randy Rhodes. Now, let's talk about Randy for a minute. Randy came from a musical family. And if you look in this mausoleum, you will see that there's actually three potential graves. The top grave is his mother. The middle grave is Randy. And the bottom grave right here is still left open. I believe that will probably be for his brother. And so you can see all the musical notes on the mausoleum. And if we kind of go around, you can also see the musical instrument here. And then we'll come back in behind the gate. And you can see Randy's right there with the guitar. And then his mother, I believe her name was Dolores. I don't know if you can see it very good, but it looks like it's maybe a trumpet on hers. So his mother taught music lessons and actually had a music lesson store here in California where kids could go and learn to play instruments. Randy taught there and his brother also taught there. And so a little bit about Randy is he was born uh, in 1956. And as we all know, he was one of the greatest guitarists of all times. He was also the co-founder and the original guitarist of heavy metal band Quiet Riot. And now two days ago, I was just at the grave of the great Kevin DeBrow, the singer of Quiet Riot. So check that vlog out also. But he was a founding member of Quiet Riot. And then he left Quiet Riot to go um, tour with Ozzy Osbourne on his own. And Randy played on Ozzy's album, Blizzard of Oz, and then of course, Diary of a Madman. I have never heard somebody play guitar like you hear Randy Rhodes, that fast playing on Diary of a Madman. If you haven't heard him play on Crazy Train and some of the other songs between those two albums, run out right now, download it onto your phone because it will blow your mind. But um, Randy actually played those two albums and then had a tragic ending to his life. They were on tour in Florida and um, Ozzy and Sharon were asleep, I believe, on their tour bus at the time. And there was somebody else there with them that said, let's go take this plane out and, and fly in the plane. Now, Randy did not like flying at all. Um, but he did like to take pictures and things like that. So somehow they talked Randy into getting into this, the small little plane. And this guy flying the plane thought it would be funny to dive bomb the bus that Ozzy and Sharon were sleeping on. And tragically, they crashed that plane. And they all died on that plane, I believe. Randy's uh, date of death was March 19th, 1982, at the age of 25 years old. That day in history, we lost, again, one of the greatest, if not the greatest, guitarist of all time. Rest in peace, Randy Rhodes. We love you. And his grave has been decorated either by fans or family for Valentine's for him. Rest in peace, Randy.